Hello, Detroit, how are you? Let's try that again. Hello, Detroit, how are you? All right. Now, they always mess up my name when I get on stage. It's Frank Watson the third. Frank Watson is my granddad. But anyway, okay. So, my name is Frank Watson the third. I'm 18 years old, and I'm a proud resident of Detroit. Now, I just started college, and, you know, I, I just love, I love the feel of it. You know, I like to, um, I like to sing and I do poetry. At the age of 15, I became a professional singer. I'm a wedding singer to be exact. So anyone out there that's engaged, call me. Um, moving on from there, enough about me. I'm here to talk to you all about Detroit. Why is it that this is the Detroit that everyone sees? But this is not my vision. I'll tell you why. In one word, expectations. Now, I believe that as a city, we need to rise above the expectations that have been set for our city. Now, my father passed away when I was two years old. And everyone expected that I would grow up and become another statistic because I had no male role model in my life. But little did they know, I would end up in college double majoring in psychology and pre-med, and little did they know that I would be on this stage motivating hundreds of thousands of people around the world to make a change. Now, this summer, I did something that gave me a different look on how I perceived life to be. I served in the GM Student Corps, which brought people of all ages, races, and religion together to do community projects in Detroit. They gave us a paid internship to help others as well as help ourselves. Now my teammates and I, we boarded up hundreds of abandoned homes, fed the hungry, revitalized neglected parks, planted hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of trees, shrubs, and bushes. And we painted everything in sight. But it wasn't just about a summer job. It was about setting expectations and exceeding them. It was about realizing that we all have a choice to either live up or down to what society and our loved ones expect from us and especially what we expect from ourselves. It was about choosing our own destiny and not allowing others to define us. My teammates and I live by these truths every day of the summer. Long days, hot days, rainy days, everything. So I couldn't help but wonder, what if we as a city, we as a community, live by these same truths. What would happen if Detroit rose above the low expectations that others have set for our city of Detroit? Now, I'm not gonna stand here and tell you that I have the answers to blight, crime, and other activities that's going on in our city. I'm still a teenager, but I am old enough to know that the power of expectations can chart our path in life, if we allow it to. And I'm not the only one. Other individuals like the Better Detroit Youth Movement, Youth Voice, Demamia, just to name a few, are making a positive change every day. Now my GM team that you see here, they were amazing. We got a lot of experiences, well we got a lot out of these experiences. But the one thing that I pulled from this experience was to be able to ask for help, to be able to allow people to help me. My mom, mom, where are you? Where are you? No, she's right there. My biggest supporter. She tells me every day, 
She tells me every day that I do too much or I take on everything, I try and do it myself. Well, mom, you were right. My team always taught me that asking for help isn't a sign of weakness. It's what strong people do. It's what leaders do as well. And I understand that now. Now, as you know, we as Detroiters are famous for our love of sports. And we know that Detroit is good for playing defense. But for all of my sports lovers out there, you know to bring in good stats, you must have amazing defense as well as amazing offense. So what I want to leave you with, ladies and gentlemen, today is that if Detroit can remove the crutch of that low expectations that everyone else has set for us, aim high and take the shot, then we can create a strong future. And if others are willing to lend a helping hand, a genuine hand, not a handout, but real genuine help, then it's okay to take it. Now all my life, people have told me I'll never become a doctor. I'll never own my own hospital. I'll never grow up to be anything in life. I know then, as well as I know now, that they were wrong. And I've spent most of my life determined to rise above what they expected of me and achieve all of my goals, aspirations, and my dreams. I didn't get here on my own. And I know it would take a lot of time, resources, and support. But when I make it, and I will make it, I hope that I can look back and see that the city that I love, the Detroit that I know, has made it too. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.